Hey guys, how's it going? I haven't done a video in ages. <laughs> I've been sick. I had the flu. Man, let me tell you, that is no fun. I'm still not completely over it, but uh, I'm certainly over it enough to uh, get some more work done. <coughs> That's probably why my voice sounds funny. Um, that is not going to prevent me, though, from having a beer. Cheers. Mmm. That is yummy. So uh, yeah, I had a <laughs> I had a twisted ankle that kept me uh, kept me off my feet for a couple of days, and then I got the flu right thereafter for a week. So man, it feels good to be working again. I am very pleased with uh, with just doing stuff. It feels nice. So let me show you what I'm up to. Um, over there, right there is the uh, interior VW seat that I'm I'm using as a template. So I made two copies of that. Uh, one to go on the left side and one to go on the right and I spent about an hour online looking for an example of the right hand buddy seat for 71 VW and I didn't see any examples so I hope the I hope my client um, found you know found a template that works I hope this is gonna fit so I'm gonna do the first one and that I know is gonna be correct and maybe I'll wait and see what he says I'll, I'll bring the pieces of the second one and just make sure that all of the uh, the openings and apertures are going to fit. Anyway, uh, what I thought to do was I've got this little sample here, and this is how I'm going to join up the seat on that side where it's a nice right angle. And uh, <clears throat> so this this seat right here, the driver's seat is going to be right behind it, and this will have a nice cushion on it and be open inside. And it's got some odd shapes on the the back side there. I guess that's to allow for. Uh, probably a gas hose or a electrical wire. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is this type of joinery where I'm going to cut it at a 45. This is going to be, I, I tried different woods and I didn't like it. So I'm just going to use just another piece of this, uh, this oak three quarter inch and fill in this gap and cut that at a 45 as well and join it up. So it, it'll be a different grain than this and maybe a different stain, I'm not sure, but I think that'll look real nice. What I tried to do was come up with a way of putting like either uh, some um, dados or rabbits or um, I don't know. I've, I've, been come up, I've been coming up with all these crazy ideas, none of which seem to be aesthetically like pleasing. So what I think I'm going to do is, you know, here's an example of one where it's got the pieces. You can see this one's popping out right here where, where the way it's going to join up. And what I'm going to do, I think, is... Um, kind of copy what West Fala does, VW uh, guys. I'm going to cut this one back um, a little bit, like right to the end of where my cut is here. And then I'm going to cut in, I'm going to um, notch out a piece so that a piece of solid strip of oak will fit in and join this piece to this piece and still be a flush 45 inside. I think that's, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to keep plugging. And I've got a, uh, a fellow prepper from uh, the lower 48 who's coming to visit here shortly. He's on his way from visiting his dad and he's heading to the airport. And he said he wanted to stop by just to shake my hand and say, say hello and goodbye. So I'll meet another prepper for probably about three minutes <laughs> today. That'll be cool. All right. Hope you guys are well. And I will talk to you next time. Cheers.